Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. When treatment planning for partial dentures, removable partial dentures, we need very accurate diagnostic casts. Now, accurate diagnostic casts begin with an accurate impression. Now, for the partial denture, we use stock metal trays, perforated, and we alter them with, modify them with red utility wax. The mandibular tray is altered in the uh, mylohyoid area to depress the soft tissue attachments uh, slightly to give an accurate appraisal of the ridge, realizing at the time we are displacing soft tissue and uh, we're not going to use the cast uh, for, the, uh, for uh, determining that border. That will be done as a secondary uh, procedure later on in partial denture construction. It is usually added to both sides to give a good reflection of the tongue in the sublingual gland. The maxillary cast, or, or the maxillary tray, is altered also with the red utility wax in the palatal area to prevent any sagging of the impression material and a distortion, particularly important when you're considering the, the, uh, the impression of the, uh, for a partial denture in the maxillary arch. Now, the posterior is also modified with red wax to contain the impression material so that it does not uh, disappear down the patient's throat and possibly gag them. I did not mention during the oral exam, but uh, one thing we would like to test for is the gag reflex of the patient. And when inserting these trays, particularly, this may be a time to do that. Now, some patients, on some patients, there may be a need to ha make a custom tray for the diagnostic cast. So we would utilize an acrylic custom tray, and I'm speaking of the patient where the attachments of the floor of the mouth are very high, and the area, the lingual bar area and soft tissue attachment of the floor of the mouth is going to be very critical in the design of the appliance. We would first make a, a routine impression in the metal tray, then from that tray make a, an, ac an acrylic tray and we would modify, as I have here, with compound the lingual area of that tray. Now this would be necessary for patients who have very high attachments and where the fit of the appliance is very critical, the design of the appliance is very critical in that area. The Impression material, or the impression material, uh, should be uh, bubble-free. And I'd like to look at this cast with you and show you the areas of particular importance because we're going to use a diagnostic cast to treatment plan and design the partial denture. So we want to be sure we get alginate material very accurately and bubble-free around the abutment teeth because they will have the direct retainers and the uh, clasp units on the abutment teeth. So both the remote abutment and this abutment on the opposite side, are, these teeth are potential abutments, I should say. And we have to be sure that we get an accurate registration, very accurate registration of those teeth. The lingual area is very critical because we would like to see whether there are any undercuts in that soft tissue. And we would like to get a good impression of the edentulous area, but we realize that alginate impression will distort and will, because of its consistency, probably give you an overextended diagnostic cast. So we do not depend on it for the final peripheral role of the appliance, but we would like to get an adequate registration of it uh, for diagnostic procedures. Now we will now go to the patient 
to secure the alginate impression for the diagnostic cast. You will get a predictable mix of alginate if the water temperature is kept at 68 to 70 degrees. The alginate should be mixed according to the proper uh, specifications of water powder ratio, ratio also. And prior to insertion of the tray, the alginate should be applied to the areas of concern, mainly the abutment teeth, and the lingual bar area, both on the buccal surface of the abutments and on the lingual in the occlusals. Now the tray, as the tray is inserted, should instruct the patient to raise the tongue now lower the tongue Okay, you can remove the mirror. There we are. Now the material is allowed to set for the full four minutes. A maxillary impression should be secured in a similar fashion. The alginate impression should be examined critically before pouring. The areas that we mentioned before that are of primary concern are the abutment teeth, the potential abutment teeth, this bicuspid and the molar on the opposite side. They should be accurately recorded. The lingual bar area should be accurately recorded. And the edentulous ridge area, the residual ridge area, should be accurately recorded. Now, when, when you have examined it uh, very carefully, it should be covered immediately with a wet paper towel, even if you're just walking to the laboratory to uh, pour the impression. The alginate is most accurate when it is removed from the mouth and starts to become less accurate from that point on. The impression will or should be poured in uh, cocal buff or it is an improved stone and the correct water powder ratio is 30 water to 100 grams of uh, powder. It could also be poured in Velmix with the water powder ratio of 24 to 100. Uh, for diagnostic purposes, the improved stone, though, is adequate. So with the securing of the accurate alginate impression, it must be treated very carefully and, and handled carefully and poured with uh, the correct ratio powder, and it will result in an accurate diagnostic cast. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.